So kind of an obvious first question for you, but how do you approach playing these two characters when so many other people have done different takes on them? Well, it's kind of like doing someone from a, a comic strip. Like there, it's it's iconic. There's already parameters around it. So in a way, it made it uh, easier just because I just wanted to sort of carry on whatever that character, everything has been established to continue it. Yeah. Well, well, you know, you, you, I grew up watching The Addams Family, you know, and then I, I, I love the movie and, you know, you're stepping into it and you just understand what that world and what that universe and what the the, the uh, dynamics of that family is like. So you put all those things together. Look, I wasn't trying to duplicate what anybody else did. I was just stepping into that role of who Gomez is, if that makes sense. Of course. And how's it working with the legendary Tim Burton? What's he like on set? Oh, man. He, um, he first of all, is very iconic director as we know and just being able to step into the Tim Burton world and just to see how the, the sets were done and and the props and the costumes and and the hair and the makeup and you know it's it's like uh stepping into somewhat of a creepy candy store <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's good you know do you kind of think young audiences today, you know, have got kind of got thicker skins and they can handle like slightly more edgy material than maybe when we were young? Oh, that's a good question. I think maybe we've forgotten about how much edgy stuff we saw when we were kids. Because even with like Willy Wonka, there's like a lot of some pretty complex stuff. And I think my assumption is that people still have that ability to kind of, uh, uh, enjoy things they don't even understand because because now that I'm older I'm like how did I even understand even what Saturday Night Live was they, you know there was like it's a, a sketch show here yeah. and now I'm like how did I understand some of those jokes and it's sometimes I didn't and I still enjoyed it and Louise how was it for you having Catherine Zeta-Jones as your own screen wife uh, how would you feel? <laughs> I'd be quite happy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, no, it was great. You know, she uh, she showed up. She was beautiful, very elegant, ele- 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 elegant. Yeah. Please, elegant. please edit that out. We are. Yeah, yeah, we'll do, don't we? Please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Elegant. E- elegant. Not elephant. Elegant. <laughs> and um, you know, she just added a lot with her chemistry as Morticia. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, she was as iconic as can be. And why do you think, you know, these characters are still being revisited? What makes them timeless? Oh, man, what makes them timeless is, I, I guess it's, it's the progression of the family. Because when you first meet the Adams family 50, 60 years ago, yeah. um, you know, they're little kids. And now in this, it's like, okay, now Wednesday is going to high school so the story the saga whatever it is the mystery continues 